Hi guys, so let's now take a look at the production possibility frontiers or production possibility curves or boundaries as you may see them. Okay, so these simply illustrate potential combinations uh, for two goods that can be produced with existing resources. So they're nice straightforward diagrams to actually understand. You can see that I've drawn out an axis here uh, with phones and wheat, okay, and we can then determine our production possibility boundary uh, according to what is possible to be produced in this economy given the available factors of production or resources that the uh, economy has. Now, achieving any point A, B, C, D would be deemed to be productively efficient because uh, all of the actual resources are being fully utilised to ensure that uh, the level of production is reaching that boundary, is reaching the far edge of that boundary. Any point beyond here, so if we put in point E here, for instance, well, that would simply suggest that uh, it's unobtainable with the current resources that are available. But if there were big improvements in terms of the actual quality of those capital goods, as well as the quality of the labour inputs, then it is possible that the PPC uh, or PPB, uh, if you prefer, could actually shift outwards and achieve point E there. Okay, so meanwhile, if we were at point F here, Okay, that would simply highlight to us that not all resources are being productively used to actually generate big, big uh, returns on their use. It might illustrate a, a situation of unemployment, for instance. Okay, now all of these PPCs will slope downwards. They will slope downwards due to the fact that resources are finite, they are limited. And as such, they cannot therefore slope upwards. Okay, that just would not work, of course. Moreover, we can see that this one that I've drawn out here bows outwards, and this is because some resources are better suited to the production of phones, obviously, than they are in the terms of product producing wheat. Okay, so some factors of production will be better off producing wheat, some would be better off uh, producing phones. Okay, uh, now what's interesting about that is that we can see this by the increasing opportunity cost that we face if we want to increase the production of wheat. So as we move from point A through to point B here, we can see that there is a, uh, a minus five reduction in the actual quantity of phones that are actually produced. And then this enables us to actually increase the production of wheat by plus 10. Okay, now just coming down to point C, if we move down to point C and then transition to point D, well, we can still see that that is productively efficient level of outcome, uh, level of output rather, where we have minus five phones being given up, but we have plus one, just plus one now in terms of the actual increase in the quantity of wheat that is now produced. So there is an increasing, uh, increasing opportunity cost reflected within this diagram. Okay, we'll move on in our next lesson to have a look at some different shapes of the PPC, but we'll leave